Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat. Welcome back to a brand new map change video. And in today's map change video, we're going to be showing off everything that happened in the event regarding map changes and also diving into some of the secrets found within the event. Now, there's some interesting stuff which could lead towards season nine and also explains potentially who the master slash leader is of the Fortnite Battle Royale universe. Obviously, we know it's the devs, but considering it as maybe some sort of science fiction, we kind of think about something pretty interesting that I've spotted in the event. So we're going to jump into that. But before we get too far into it, shout out to everybody on screen right now. Thank you, everybody who's been supporting me as a creator. You guys absolutely rock. If you guys would like a shout out in future videos, remember to go and tweet me at postbutspat or message me in my Discord. If you've not yet received a shout out, remember to go and repost it on my Twitter or my Discord. I try my best to give shout outs to everybody. And that is actually a legit thing. So seriously, guys, try it out. You near enough have a 90% chance of getting selected because I don't get sent that many. So thank you very much for everyone who's doing that. It'd be awesome if we can get to 5,000 supporters on the supporters of creator side of stuff. Anyway, guys, let's pop into this and show the map changes off straight away. So the most interesting map changes is obviously what the volcano has done to the map, which is pretty cool. We can see the explosion over there and there's a bunch of other stuff. But the first thing I want to point out is wow what's going on with the lighting is the original start to the event so the start of the event really does hold a lot of secrets so we can see that it, a light shines up and it opens up pretty much the entire thing which we'll show you guys in a sec so when we go inside of here this is where the interesting stuff starts to happen so there's a few different things i want to point out inside of here if we kind of get it wound back a little bit we might be able to get the people to despawn Perfect. Okay, so the first thing to note with this is we're in the sky. An interesting concept for Fortnite Battle Royale. They've managed to finally update their servers to put us in the sky above Loot Lake. I didn't expect them to do this, you know, with the old event, which was the cube event. For those who have watched my channel for a long time, will know that the original cube event was held above Salty Springs. Salty Springs is a very big or well-known placeholder for a lot of items in Fortnite, but it looks like they mastered the event to actually go into the sky. So once you go inside of this little portal thing, it teleports you up to the sky. I personally glided into it, but if you waited, it would have kind of dragged you in and you go inside of here. Now, once you're inside this zone, there is a bunch of cool interesting stuff that's going on i'm trying to get it perfect so that we can go inside of here with nobody in but i don't think that's going to happen i don't think let's see no i don't think it is so we'll just try it again but you know inside of this event there was some crazy stuff that was going on but yes you go inside of here and obviously it takes you straight up to the sky which has to be one of the most interesting things ever done in map changes all right guys skipping over to the actual inside of the event this is where the first map changes really start to kick in we see that we have six shrines these are just simple live map change events where they're gravestone type things of old items and obviously we know the drum got, got added in but the next thing is this little desk with a radio helmet and book on with an app on it i think this is quite an interesting concept and also this open diary so someone is sat right here who is that we don't know this mask i think has something to do with the master or director of the fortnite universe or the owner Maybe Lars, maybe someone to do with Save the World. We, probably not Lars, but, you know, maybe some sort of character who has been in the storyline for a while is sat in the clouds above us, as we noticed was in the clouds, or is sat in the vault and are in charge of what is currently going on. So I think this is going to be a big impact or a big secret behind this for Season 9. And also the globe behind them, this ball-type substance, we haven't really seen much of it. This dark element to me reminds me of something maybe from Save the World, but I can't kind of put myself to it. I can't think of what it is. It's really weird, and we've not seen it before in the Fortnite universe. So it's part of kind of Kevin's dark substance, I guess. But we've also lost Kevin's symbols. His symbols are underneath here, and we know that Kevin dropped tears in, and his tears were a dark type color. So this spirit, maybe, maybe it's the spirits of all the lost weapons, or the spirits of everything one that's died in battle royale or maybe something i don't know what it is but it's definitely going to play part in the fortnite storyline throughout the next few weeks anyway let's move on to all of the map changes outside of this area all right so i've switched into a different game just to get a more kind of like a sunset point of view we'll explore tilted towers in a second but first off we have retail row 
probably my favorite over tilted and retail just because i like retail more because of the food restaurants which happened which unfortunately is a rip right now but for these locations you can only get them to fully render in if you actually land in the location interesting concept because it could mean potentially it could get changed in the next few days highly unlikely though because season nine is less than five to four days depending on when you're watching this video but let's talk about the map changes which we've had here and the secrets behind them so first off we know that tomato town got hit badly or pizza pit should i really call it but i like calling it tomato town because technically that's the og kind of place and location it reminds me of it but yes this location got hit badly and took a lot of damage and half of the building got wiped which means it will have to get rebuilt at some point and we could see maybe the tomato van retouring the map to try and recoup its revenue and that's the same with the der burger building as well that building got even hit even worse the whole building itself got destroyed and the van is nowhere to be seen i don't think the van was there anyway it got removed but obviously the van isn't here trying to pick up a little bit of revenue because no one is currently here in the shopping area of retail row now all the shops are gone completely gone which is really sad now i have a little theory that the Fortnite Creative World Cup could have something to do with maybe us rebuilding retail or us rebuilding a certain section on the map. I have a strong feeling that that could potentially be related to it because I feel like the creative side of Fortnite really could allow the us as the creators to rebuild a section of the map. So you never know. We may actually get a say in what's going to happen with map changes, hopefully. You never know. So if that does happen, I will be sure to get my one, my submission out there. And hopefully, I doubt it would get selected, but you never know with these sort of things. But that's only a prediction. That's not confirmed. That's just a little theory I had. But yes, they are all the map changes at Retail Row that we received. For those asking, I don't know if it's going to render in, but the stone people are still in the game. They don't render in unless you land in this area. They're sat on this rock here or this rock i can't remember which one they're sat i think they're sat on the upper one here you can only get them to render in if you spawn in here but i can 100 percent confirm that if you guys land there you will see the stone people so they survived which is really good news but we don't know if they're going to survive season nine so we'll have to see where that is going to take us also for those wondering about the volcano and stuff if you go inside the volcano on the event when it's fully kind of firing or, or bursting out popcorn as i said in the stream and a lot of people laughed about you know that itself, the volcano, doesn't do anything. You don't take any damage or anything like that. So you can go and check that out. Tilted, we'll explore that in a second. I'm going to have to jump back to the previous replay. Because you can see to get it to render, I have to actually be in that area. So we'll explore that more in a second. And another little secret map change for you guys is Polar Peak. Now, a lot of people were saying Greasy had an impact relating to this. Now, there was no damage or anything done at all to Greasy Grove. Unfortunately, it would have been nice if the Meteor slash flaming rocket hit it's not really a meteor i guess the flaming rocket type thing the rock hit the actual lake rather than the huge kind of mountain shard type thing here where polar peaks on but obviously that means that polar peak is now going to melt a lot quicker with it being cracked it's going to allow the ice and the well the water to come out of the inside of the ice a lot quicker and obviously melt quicker so you know potentially polar can start crumbling and this would probably happen in season nine or even in the season nine trailer it makes sense if the season nine trailer was based around this crack here and even water theme and potentially could link back to the mask that we saw on the table inside of the I guess the gateway slash whatever you want to call it the vault or whatever you want to call it. I don't know what to call it so many people call it different things but inside the vault I guess the head that we saw on the table could have some sort of relationship to this crack on the side of polar anyway guys let's jump and check out tilted all right so we've jumped over to tilted towers in the stage of explosion I thought this was something interesting to show you guys just because of lighting and stuff like that and basically what's happened is they've used the lighting to mask up the transformation of Tilted Towers. This is Tilted Towers on the point where the explosion has just happened and it is ready to disappear. Now we are having a render glitch. I had this on the stream, a lighting glitch. It's pretty cool. You get some cool stuff. But we have this here right here, which is the explosion from Tilted Towers, which I think is absolutely lovely. Like it's just an amazing sight to see. Not as in the sense of the storyline, like I said, you know, it's not good for that, but as a kind of a YouTuber and just kind of just checking out stuff on the map and stuff, I think it's pretty nice. So let's press play and see what happens when that happens. Is it gonna work? Okay, so there we are, we have it. So we've exploded, we're in Stilted Towers, and we're gonna to be able to explore it for you guys. There goes the explosion. 
untilted and we wait for the explosion to kind of sink down and here we go let's let it recover and there we are tilted towers is fully destroyed so inside of tilted i'm going to go over a bunch of the map changes which we had to try and wait for the smoke to fully go we noticed that tilted has basically been completely wiped the only building standing is the no sweat insurance which is a complete surprise i personally did not expect this building at all all to still stand in the Tilted Towers storyline, which is absolutely awesome. And you know, they will be able to rebuild Tilted Towers because it's an insurance company. Other things that are interesting, we've obviously got a few glitches going on. That's not really too much of a map change. Other locations that we can see, every building, even the uh, buses and cars have been destroyed or trapped underground. This building, the retail store with the shopping and kind of the flats under construction upstairs has been completely wiped. We've also had the flats which have been completely wiped, even the interior as well. They've put a lot of effort into changing this as live map changes. There's a lot of stuff gone into this. This building here completely wiped. All the floors have been changed and obviously the inside, which is really nice nice and a few other things as well over on this side of tilted we have nothing left other than this truck sinking in lava which is cool then this side of tilted towers we have the clock of the clock tower there were a total of four clocks on the clock tower that's one of the ones that's fell down there if we keep looking around you can see another one which has fell down over here as well i'm not too sure what happened to the other two i think they may have been buried in this huge debris now in this section over here the underground section has been covered up so you can no longer go underground this whole entire section has been completely wiped the kind of I don't know what, I forgot what you call them, slot machine type things. The vending machines that are some are still here, which is interesting. So you still can grab a weapon from that. The truck's been t kind of tilted over. And yeah, everything in Tilted Towers is just destructed, apart from the actual insurance building, which is just hilarious. I just couldn't believe that this building was going to stand. We kind of had a hint of that when the actual uh, Rune 1 was on the move and it got to this point here and decided to go up and over the building, which kind of hinted towards it. We also have this weird chest on the end of this kind of metal pole, which I think is an insane location for a chest. I doubt anyone will be grabbing that. It's a pretty difficult one to get to. Without the weapons falling off, you'd have to land here and the weapons would probably fall off, which is pretty cool, but, you know, interesting. And then this building here, completely wiped the main trump tower as everyone calls it that's what a lot of my fans call it anyway when i play in games most people seem to call it that yes this building completely wiped by again the lava rock type thing which is insane the shop next to it noms completely wiped and destroyed with the little flats upstairs the tv still remains though interesting could link to fortnite story in the future the party building as my friends call it completely wiped as well that's a shame. Again, TV still remains though, so we could definitely see something on these TVs happening within season nine. Some secrets behind that right there. Then also on the inside of the basketball court, completely wiped. The stairs still go up, but then the basketball court has fallen into this pit of lava. And obviously the restaurant is there as well. So the whole place has been trashed. And that's really everything inside of Tilted. I've gone over everything in the park and this building nowhere to be seen. Park completely wiped. Tree kind of remains here. You can see a stick of it, but it's completely buried. And debris from this building i guess the blast must have blasted in this direction but yes insane destruction to tilted towers very sad sight but very good as well because i think it's interesting to have these sort of map changes and finally see the vanish of tilted towers i guess it hasn't really vanished everyone's still going to be landing here let's be honest the loot's still pretty good it's just more open there's chests everywhere when you land here that well not as many there's definitely not as many chests but there still are chests everywhere so it'll still be a popular location you know you can land here and get a bunch of chests there's just free chests in this region right here i still think people will land here and this building itself i've not actually played the game properly since the event but I look forward to doing so. And I do think a lot of people will go straight for the insurance building, which I think will be very cool to have just one building in a field of destruction. So yeah, let me know in the comment section what you guys thought of the event. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's secret map change video. I hope I've gone over everything. If I've missed anything, leave it in the comment section down below. I know you guys want me to give a tour of the block. I'll be doing it very soon for you guys, so don't expect too much of a wait on that. It will be happening, even if I have to make a separate video on it. I will make it for you guys, but I expect there to be more map changes and fairy videos popping very, very soon, leading up to Season 9. So get ready for that, and we can expect the Season 9 teasers as well on the channel very, very soon. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to go and leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you're new around here, Stick around for daily Fortnite content. And once again, this is Postbox Part, signing out.